Hello everyone and welcome back to another video covering the AQA GCSE Computer Science course. Um, we're moving on to topic number 6 today which is error handling, um, going through exactly what is mentioned in the specification which includes types of errors and how you would handle them, um, hence hence the name. So let's have a look at the, the three main types of error that, error that, occurred, that occur within code. There we are. Um, so the first one is a syntax error and um, syntax, let's define syntax first because that may be unfamiliar to you. Um, so syntax is basically rules that a language consists of. So for example, in the English language whenever you commit um, the greatest sin of all which is um, grammatical errors, um, that's breaking the syntax of the English language. So if, you're, if your word order is a bit, a bit messed up um, that's breaking the syntax. This happens a lot in spoken language because it's more relaxed, but in programming it can cause um, a syntax error, which is when the programmer fails to obey one of these, la these rules, and it means the program can't um, execute properly, so it ceases to execute. Execution is basically um, the program actually, the um, computer running the code. Um, so for example in Python, fairly simple um, example um, so I'm trying to do an if statement here which we'll look at in a future video but um, so uh, instead of doing and um, using the boolean operator and in uh, lowercase I did it in a, um, uppercase and therefore the program can't doesn't understand what it means and so a syntax error occurs and ceases the program's execution. Um, fairly simple, these happen all the time as any programmer will um, appreciate. Um, uh, an error that doesn't occur as often in the current uh, day and age of runtime errors, and these occur when the program requires the computer to complete an operation it cannot appropriately handle. So I say this doesn't happen as much because uh, runtime errors often occur when um, um, a computer takes a long long time to um, to um, evaluate something or run a section of code and because computers are so advanced and so um, efficient today um, this really happens and obviously I'm not going to do an example because um, I don't really want my computer to crash because crashing and freezing is, is a um, um, a uh, consequence of runtime errors and runtime errors are very broad they they come under or they, I should say um, yeah, they come under many, many, many different uh, types and many reasons um, can lead to them. So, um, I, I mean, an, an example is, you know, if a, if a computer has to multiply two extremely, extremely um, long numbers while doing something else, um, it may struggle to do it and so it may crash. Very um, logic errors, um, these are the hardest to... Um, eradicate and fix because they occur when the programming execution occurs as normal but not as the program it intended meaning that um, meaning that uh, the, the code works but it didn't work as was expected because you know um, the program maybe didn't understand what they were doing or guessed at something um, and obviously um, these are the hardest to detect because you may not understand why they occurred in the first place. Um, but there, there is a means to eradicate these, and we'll look at that um, a bit later. Um, so, for the time being, let's have a look at testing during execution. So, as we said, execution is the, the stepping through of a program line by line, the running of the code. Um, so, debugging is testing for errors during the program's execution. And there are tools named debuggers to aid this testing. So. They often contain three features, first of which is watch, and watch is, uh, they basically watch any vari variable that's been given to it by the programmer, um, and they show its contents rel relative to the line that, oops, they show um, its contents relative to the line that the program is currently executing, so they're often in the form of a table, and um, you'd have your variable on one, on the co one column, and the um, the value on the next and they, then values will change as the program executes. Um, you also have um, breakpoints and these can be added inserted into the code by the programmer and when um, the program goes to run, it, run them it will cease and it will stop when it reaches that point and these are, they allow programmers to test the code at any point and basically stop the execution. Um, and uh, a feature called step um, 
allows the programmer to continue with program's execution on a line by line basis, essentially stepping through the program. And that allows them to see exactly what has changed on each line, um, which which will help with the debugging process. So um, I mentioned that um, you can logic errors can be helped to um, be tested, and they can be tested through trace tables. And these um, basically similar to watches, I guess, but they're more they're not they're usually done by hand, and they show the values of variables during a process. And they're generally um, used on used with complex projects that are done by inexperienced programmers as they are more likely to ha to um, have some logic errors in their code because they maybe don't understand the language as well as someone who's experienced and they may not have done it before so uh, logic errors are more likely to occur with them um, so an example of a uh, trace table you'd have the um, the step uh, number on the side, so miss, miss may represent a line or a section or a function. Then you got you have variables in the columns. You could do it with one variable, you could do it with ten. Obviously, the more variables, the more work you have. And this is just an example of the values that are given. So, um, yeah, that's it for today's video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.